I've done two Black Mesa video series before and it looks like I'm going to be starting another one. This one is more Black Mesa and what I want to do in this video is just think about what it is that I would actually uh, want to do. So I'm going to be choosing a topic. I've got a number of images to show you that uh, I find interesting and that are potential ones and you're welcome to comment on them if you want. And if I haven't started in a couple of days, I'll, I'll see what you said and I'll think about it. But I have some of my own ideas. So this is the first one, and what I'm looking at when I do this is stuff that is obviously doable because it's going to take a number of videos to get through the series, and so it's got to be reasonable modeling and reasonable texturing. And the plan is to model it in Blender and texture it in pretty much mostly in, in Substance Painter. And so um, one of the things that I learned in talking with the, uh, the guys who've been working on Black Mesa and the mods is that uh, they did a lot of the texturing in Photoshop. And so um, the textures are, are not too difficult, some of them, to do in Substance Painter. They're, some of them are reasonable. So for example, when I look at this and I look at this floor, I think about how I could potentially do that. Um, and you know, some of these are sort of basic kind of materials that could be done. We've obviously got some emissions uh, that could be done in Blender or in Substance Painter and various lighting and all that. So I'm talking about more than just texturing. Um, I also, uh, I'm often working from just one or two images or screenshots of a particular scene. I, I don't have the games. Uh, I've watched some walkthroughs. I probably would watch a little bit more, but I can't always find the exact same scene so I may not know what I'm doing like for example for this one which is actually at the very top of the list right now I've really only got this image I can zoom into it but I can't do much more than that all right so that's one idea and I am leaning quite heavily towards this one and when we look at this we can see there are some lights that I could potentially do that looks okay we've got these sort of fluorescent lights they look okay, some texture on the ceiling, some concrete walls. Um, whether I do this um, in a uh, sort of, a, you know, when I so snap pieces together, um, there's this door that looks okay. Uh, the desk with the, the drawers look fine. You know, the computer, it's another keyboard. That's a, it's a bit of a slog to do that. Um, obviously, I, I may have some issues when it comes to this, not being a great graphic artist, really uh, putting some kind of aquarium-like scene or lab scene, and it would be slightly different, I'm sure. The stool looks okay. The chair, I can't really see, but we could do something with that. So, this is a possibility. I liked this image just because it's another corridor. It's got the sort of the uh, the tile kind of floor with the, with the dirt on it. This is very painterly. This this texture, and I was interested to see what it would look like with um, some substance painter textures, where we get a little bit more height in things like the metal piece here and the bolts. But it also has some challenges with uh, getting the textures to line up nicely on the slanted pieces and I can't quite tell what it does. I mean, I don't understand why this piece seems to be protruding out, but the texture just starts here and doesn't seem to continue and doesn't seem to be like a little hallway in there or anything. So, and this thing's bent over, but I, I did like this one. Um, I, I pictured down here some, some nice big uh, fans in there and some computer stuff, you know, so I could, I could, do it but sort of jazz it up a little bit so again i'm 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 very interested in this you know it's it's a little bit empty in that i don't have to worry about doing all kinds of other computers and benches and garbage cans and and all these things i could stick to doing walls and pipes and fans and and all of that so i like this one as well okay this one uh what attracted me to this one attracted me to it is again not too much detail going on um, I certainly know how to do this floor with the little circles in substance painter and that could look really good 
We could definitely do the ceiling. We have these fluorescent lights similar to another Black Mesa project that I did. Um, we could do the door like this where we just inset the keypad, which is very simple, just six buttons and a screen. Um, I wouldn't necessarily do anything in behind here, but I could have maybe just like shiny reflective glass, that kind of thing. Um, the hallway seems to come down here and then curve and the same thing over on this side and then with the doors at the end. So th that's all well and good, but I can't really see this unless this is another hallway with a door like that. But there's some weird stuff going on on the, the sides that I'm just not sure about. So it, it, it's a thought <laughs> anyhow, although I don't think it's at the top of my list. What I like about this one is the simplicity of it. Again, we have a floor that I could do in Substance Painter and try to get the height to look, uh, you know, even more than this so that uh, there's some real kind of a tactile feel to it. And then we have these black sort of uh, great grating like things that go all the way around with another little hallway. And that's all good. We've got a very simple light here. Again, a simple texture on the ceiling. Uh, I could do some glass here, maybe something behind or not. We could see just kind of for practice for for the texturing really to see how I I would I want to say to see how close I can get it. I know it's going to differ, but just to sort of like have a another representation of it that's kind of close. What we have here are these sort of uh, concrete slabs. We got some sort of long ones here and going all around the room with the stripes in it. And then above that, there are smaller rectangles here. And that's why we see this sort of break. See, it's not, it's not even. So you just have those in there as well. So that was another, another possibility just for working on texturing because hopefully the, the modeling in this one would not be very difficult to do uh, and, it, and it would be just a little bit challenging just to get the textures in there and I'm not quite sure uh, what uh, how I would do this but anyhow and then there was this uh, this shot as well and I like this because I really do like this pattern you know with the bolts and the sort of um, this the slits here and then I thought okay a number of those connected together going all the way around um, this kind of stuff is always nice to do because in the past we would do this in texture or sorry in, in modeling at least I would and it would uh, it would blow up my computer but now you could do you know with some transparency as a texture in Substance Painter and see how that turned out we could have another little level down here with a few of those in there you got a ladder I like this you know arch kind of or diagonal structures i wouldn't do the guy or anything but a little room down in here put some lights up there so again because i'm looking for something that is doable that's not going to take too long even as is we could probably block this out in one video maybe two videos and then um to texture it um you know we've got this stuff and to get it fitting right we got this stuff we got these ones to get to get them in the right place. Um, it wouldn't be too hard. It would take me two or three videos to texture it, one to two videos to model it. Um, you know that kind of a thing. So again, I, I I like this quite a bit. It's it's hard for me to decide. I think doing something like this might be a little bit easier than doing doing the first one. Uh, with all of the additional stuff. So I, I am actually leaning towards one of these ones. That one, uh, not necessarily this one, uh, that one maybe. This one might be my favorite so far, just to try it out and see how we would do. Um, you know, I like these out uh, indoor scenes uh, as well because of you know, uh, in, in, in terms of getting the lighting in them, if I have definite light fixtures of some sort, then it, I, can, I can do the lighting uh, I don't know, better than I think sometimes the outdoor scenes. 
but this is another one very similar to a previous one with the circles and again with the, all the concrete going around and the and the stripes. Uh, there's a lot of little bits that would have to be done. They could be textured pretty easily, at least in terms of like the diffuse stuff, um, to get all the little doodads really would, ta would take a while. All right, and that's why I sometimes shy away from doing something like this in the series. Let's see what else we have. This has always been one of my favorite scenes, but this one, you'd, it would really take a lot of work. I mean, the pipes are pretty straightforward, right, with uh, what we could do. That's good, but you do have a bunch of little cabinets, and we got the walkway up here, and the ceiling is just uh, all these things all over the place, and so... Um, you know, I'm not even sure why I included this. I just, I think I just liked, I liked the scene, but I don't think that this may be a good one for us to, to work on. Let's see if there's anything else. Uh, I, I, I have considered this one, you know, we've got some shapes here that we could do and do the benches, not, not too bad to do that with a little bit of cloth kind of material and substance painter and some, and a little bit of, um, you know, getting the uh, the fabric kind of uh, bubbly like that. I can't, I can't I'm not coming up with the right words. We got some bolts around the door. Uh, forget about the outside stuff. Certainly not doing the characters. And I like the floor. I think sometimes when I choose these things, I'm just looking at them and I'm quickly assessing the modeling uh, difficulty. Like I, you know, I'll quickly come over here and go, okay, it's a handle. We could do that. We could do this thing. We could do that. We could do the benches. Uh, sometimes if I can't see it all, then I'm not sure, but, you know, a little handle on there, okay, a little plate like here with that stuff, okay, that's all right, and then I see the floor, and I go, oh, I always love that kind of pattern, and I like the fabric idea, and so I might choose them almost more based on the textures uh, than on the modeling, as long as the modeling looks reasonable, but I mean, that is a cool one, I think I've got one more, uh, again, I'm going for a hallway kind of a scene because uh, I, I like the textures here in Black Mesa. Uh, we did a, a cork board last time and I could find the smart material. We could talk about that quickly again. I've just got a basic rectangular hallway going down with a, a nice pattern that we could do in Substance Painter with uh, two different colors. We get this stripe along the wall or I zoom in and I see if there's any 3D aspect to it couple of relatively simple doors um, we could do some kind of a computer thing on the wall something up here I'm not sure the camera I can barely see I might skip this one or repeat this one um, so th <laughs> those are the images that I've that I've got so far that I've put into this slideshow I've got plenty of others um, but uh, I, I, I'm looking at them going, you know, uh, is there just too much, like the cafeteria style scenes, there's just too much stuff in there. And so really, um, I do like this one quite a bit, and I think probably over the next couple of days, I will go back and forth between this one and this one, which I like quite a bit, and I think would be doable that one as well i like um yeah, it might be a little seem a little bit boring uh, but it would be very good practice i think to try and simulate this but i might be most interested in this this one actually makes me think a little bit of some other games like alien isolation a little bit when you you go through the the vents and you come out in different spots and I can almost guarantee that my lighting would end up being a little bit different than this because I would probably have these as, as, as stronger emissions. Um, but I, I would not be doing the gun, the person. I can't tell what that is. Maybe I would do a couple of wooden crates back there. But I do like this. I would like to do this, this pattern for you. And I would like to do this floor because it's very sci-fi type stuff. And of course, I would have a light down here and stuff. Um, so, you know, this might just be the scene to do. Anyhow, uh, this is number five, by the way. Let me know what you think in the comments. And I'll try to hold off for a couple of days before I get going on this. And if I get enough people uh, saying they want me to do one particular image... Uh, then you could certainly sway me to that. But don't feel like you have to weigh in and, uh, you know, and, and that kind of thing. But if you want to, I'd love to hear uh, what you think. 
Um, in the meantime, of course, I've got the render review for the Halloween challenge to do. Some excellent images have come in for that. Uh, we're now a day after Halloween, so I will put that video together uh, to showcase the work of all the participants. And I'll show you my final one as well, because I left the series off and I have finished it since then. And I'll talk a little bit about mine, but the focus is really not on me. It's more on everyone who did the challenge, uh, but I'll show you my stuff as well. All right, so there's more stuff coming up. Thank you very much. I do see my subscribers going up, and uh, I see you watching the electrical device modeling and the temple modeling, and I'm thrilled that you're coming by the channel, and I hope you'll be interested in this, not necessarily because it is the greatest image ever um, or the hardest modeling or anything, but just for the overall process of uh, what we could do as we try to somewhat replicate the Black Mesa style, uh, or at least see what we can do with it anyhow. All right, thanks for watching, and we'll see you again soon.